investing in innovation for a more efficient workforce. I'm Brian Moore, and this is Focus NNS. We're here along the banks of the James River where the sights and sounds of ship construction are prevalent as we continue our mission to build the greatest ships in the world for the U.S. Navy. We'll show you the newest piece of equipment helping to get the job done. Plus, an expansion and new jobs for NNS subsidiary Newport News Industrial. And a turn for the better as Ford comes closer to delivery. Those stories and more are coming up, but first on deck, shipbuilders and their machines. Important tools are vital to building the greatest ships in the world. Aaron Pritchett with our communications division takes a look at one of our newest pieces of shipbuilding technology. There's nothing like the feeling of getting something brand new, but even a greater feeling to know that you had something to do with helping to create an innovative tool that's a first of its kind. A dual purpose machine that's, well, a lot like a game. With a current high score of over 2,000 bins and counting, the Detail Pipe Shop introduces you to the pinball machine, helping to save time, money, and give our world-class shipbuilders a competitive edge for the future. This work is very critical because the bending process is kind of like the beginning of the whole process because, you know, you can't have all straight pipe on the ship because you got so many forms and stuff that pipe have to form around, so therefore bending is real critical. My name is Robin Moody. I'm a pipe bender. I've been in the shipyard for 32 years. Back when I came in the shipyard, uh, like night and day, uh, you had the hydraulic bending, you had uh, levers that you had to pull, you had worn out heads. Uh, everything you had to check was with a bevel square. You had to use miracle points. But today's bending, it bends automatic. Uh, it checks the uh, bends for you. You have lasers. Uh, also, you don't have to turn a wrench to set the machine up. So it's safe and it's a lot more efficient. It's quicker to set the machines up. Well, what we did at the onset, you know, we needed to replace aging machines. And we could have taken the approach uh, we can just replace it one for one, just say, okay, we have a machine, let's replace it. But I think the team took the approach that we wanted to kind of push the boundaries and kind of think outside of the box and, and improve processes also. You know, we had an extended factory acceptance test where we helped develop uh, features of the machine on the machine. Uh, so it was, a, it was a collaborative effort and it took uh, approximately one and a half, two years of an investment in time to install this machine. Having the dual heads, it's like having two machines in one. This machine actually bends six times the amount of jobs that the, uh, the machines that are replaced. It produces uh, work across our product lines, carriers and submarines. So it's, we've had a sudden impact with this machine and we can see production uh, increases uh, almost immediately. It's called a pinball machine because of the arm motion, the whipping motion of a pinball machine. This machine bends from one inch pipe down to a quarter inch. You can do it in just a push of a button. It's a left hand and a right hand bender. Right hand meaning that a nine inch roll straight up. Uh, left hand means that the roll is straight down. It's important for a new, new shipbuilder to make these investments for for the workers. I mean, we always look for better things to work with and have the right tools to do the job. So with them thinking of and showing that they want to do that means a lot to the employees. It's new for me, you know, I adapt to change. You know, a lot of older people don't like to adapt to change and they think, you know, one way is the way they've been doing it for all those years, it's the right way to do it, but hey, uh, I have an open mind so I adapt to change. Ultimately, you know, we're a world-class shipbuilding and for us to stay competitive and stay at the top of the heap, you know, uh, it takes a continuous improvement, continuous investments, and I don't know what more you can say. It's just sense of pride, sense of accomplishment to know that uh, the products that we build are the best in the world. And, and, and they're safe and also, you know, they afford our men and women of service 
you know, the opportunity to have the best products in the world to help defend our country. The pinball machine and other investments taking place throughout the shipyard are definitely changing the game as we continue to strive to stay on the cutting edge of shipbuilding for now and well off into the future. For Focus NNS, I'm Aaron Pritchett. Back to you, Brian. All right, Aaron, thanks a lot for that look at our latest piece of shipbuilding technology. And now let's take a look at some other news from around the yard. Newport News Industrial is growing with a 52,000 square foot expansion at its Enterprise Drive headquarters at Newport News. The expansion will support heavy steel fabrication for the nuclear power industry. 120 new jobs are part of that expansion. The city joined NNI to announce the plans at a news conference at the City Center Marriott. We're incredibly proud of the men and women who are currently supporting our projects. You know, the nuclear quality that, that is required to be put into the fabrication of these panels. We will be hiring welders, we will be hiring quality assurance, quality inspection folks. We hope to have first uh, shovel turned in the July, mid-July time frame with goals of completing in 2017 hiring uh, near the end of this year to support uh, full production capabilities in 2017 and continuing to provide these great products to this nuclear renaissance, the uh, manufacturing of new commercial nuclear power plants here in America. CVN 80, the next enterprise, is closer to reality as a $152 million contract is awarded for advanced planning for construction of the aircraft carrier. Enterprise will be the third carrier in the Gerald R. Ford class and is named in honor of the U.S. Navy's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, USS Enterprise CVN-65. This work includes engineering, design, planning, and procurement of material. Construction on Enterprise is slated to begin in 2018 with delivery to the U.S. Navy in 2027. Celebrating hard work that's injury-free. That's the idea behind the Quarter Century Club. These Newport News shipbuilding craftsmen have gone 25 years and more without an injury on the job. Every year a luncheon is held to celebrate the achievement and to induct new craftsmen who have reached that milestone. It means a whole lot knowing that somebody's recognizing me for being safe, you know, in the shipyard for 25 years, you know, because it's a hard job working in the ship, y'all coming in every day dealing with what you have to deal with and to stay safe. It's amazing because, you know, you see a lot in 30, almost 37 years and you go through a lot and we'll hope that people can see the way I work that they would take adapt to it and they'll do the same. All told, these fitters have more than 1,000 combined years without an injury. Staying injury free can be easier if you're in good shape. That's one goal behind the interactive health fitness classes. The sessions are held at the Midtown Community Center in Newport News to help improve shipbuilders' fitness, health, and well being. Eight hours sitting behind a desk all day, typing, and I'd be all tensed up. But after I leave this class, I feel very energetic. It just changed everything about me my weight, my attitude my sleep habits, my eating habits. This class has made a big difference in my health. It's a benefit that, one of the best benefits that, that we have at the shipyard. I can tell my core strength is getting better and uh, the fact that we can do this together is just icing on the cake. We don't want anyone to get sick. We don't want anyone to go to the, to the doctor. And these are great preventative measures. And most of all, it's free. The classes include yoga, cardio, and body fusion. For a complete list of classes, hours of operation, and how to sign up, go to the Interactive Health website. Thousands of people came out to attend Hampton Roads Pride Fest at Town Point Park in Norfolk in June. Newport News Shipbuilding was a sponsor and gave away t-shirts and other promotional items as part of the day-long event. Shipbuilders who volunteered talked with festival goers about careers, shipbuilding, and the shipyard's focus on inclusion and diversity. Pride Fest kicked off with a boat parade with Barry Fletcher, Vice President of Nuclear Propulsion, at the helm of the NNS entry. Fletcher's boat, called Nickel Plate, won for Best Sponsor Entry. A turnaround for Gerald R. Ford, CVN 78. America's newest aircraft carrier turned on June 11th with the bow now facing the shipyard for the first time since construction began. It's come a long way. Uh, 
First time I came here, we were in the dry dock, and uh, I was overwhelmed the first couple months and uh, slowly grew into the life of a shipyard. So, I mean, now seeing it as it is now, it's just a marvel on how far it's come. The turning of a ship is a major milestone in aircraft carrier construction. It means the important continuation of final testing of the ship's systems, including the aircraft launch system. To move a vessel this size, I was in awe. I, I was busy working, but still being able to take the opportunity to stop and watch it every so often. It, it is a, it's a massive move, and these things just don't move on their own when they have no power, so it's, it's incredible. During the turn, tests were conducted involving precision draft readings to confirm there is adequate stability for safe operations at sea. Well, the length of time that it takes to build one of these carriers is very impressive to be towards the end of this and uh, just to see how much you've actually done and the time that it has taken it and uh, the hard work is really paying off. The, this is the shipbuilding capital of the world. We build the best ships in the world and we're proud of that. And with the turn, another step closer for delivery and commissioning. To be able to be a part of it, it's really something cool and once in a lifetime. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Focus NNS. Make sure you keep up with all the latest news by visiting our shipbuilding website. There you'll find the latest edition of Currents and Yard Lines and links to video highlights featuring the people and products of Newport News Shipbuilding. Plus, you can keep up with us on our social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. You'll find us at Huntington Ingalls Industries. And you can also check us out on Cox Cable Channel 1886. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Moore.